hello everyone welcome to um to this video i hope that you can hear me clearly uh shout out to the guy that i got this um wireless microphone from uh it's time i give a shout out to him i had promised him that i'll give him a shout out uh in one of my videos yeah i'm hoping he's still my subscriber because um when i was explaining uh to him the reason why i wanted a mic I also told him that I create content and he subscribed immediately so shout out to you and uh, I'll be linking his uh, page or the number somewhere there in the video anyways um, today's video I'm just going to tell you how we've been settling here in our new apartment and um, it's been one week here um, of course a few challenges here and there I'll be walking you through that as well and uh, also before we go any further allow me to just welcome you here thank you for your time thank you for just clicking on this video and i uh, will just be talking around and i'll just be taking you through things um i'm hoping this video will not be longer but it has this uh, potential to be long so let's see how it's going to go yeah so at the moment i'm just finishing um doing uh the first load today's load today's tuesday 9th uh may yeah so yesterday was monday 8th the schools opened and um i went back to my kids uh, previous school yesterday to process the school transfer because we are going to be needing that in their new school so we had to clear there and um i also managed to go to the new school that they'll be going to and I have finished up with everything. I'm sh not sure. Um, I'm really not sure when they are going to be reporting. But uh, we're just trying to organize ourselves. We need like everything, all new textbooks, exercise books, uniforms, everything, like everything. Yeah, so that is what we are trying to organize ourselves on. Yes. So I'm just putting in the second load. It's uh, more of uh, brighter clothes, but they're very dirty. I don't know. And I'm out of the fabric stain remover. Yeah, this one, the, the pink one, it really, really comes in handy, especially with dirty, uh, bright clothes. But um, yeah but i have several other um washing detergents i have this parcel that i've been using for some time now parcel this one the high performance one performance one uh it's uh it's good it's a good one it works for such uh stained clothes but the the one that can really really speak for in terms of fighting the stains and everything and all that, that it's this one the aerial one the aerial plus now if you mix aerial and the stain remover trust me you don't even have to check on your clothes if they are clean so i really vote for this one however let me just put a disclaimer i don't know why why i keep buying it because i react to the downy in the soap uh, especially when i'm hanging the clothes i like sneeze like crazy but it works like it works super well yeah so i've also been trying this one i have some uh, kidogo left i've been trying the gamma but cj penda sana to be honest i've not liked it but it has a very good like floral scent that is left on the clothes other than that in terms of washer manguo especially the stained ones the dirty ones um i don't know maybe i'll have to try it again to see but for this bottle um i'm not convinced that it's like it does the job so today i want to use to go back a little to the aerial one yeah so they had a good offer i picked it up and uh, yeah anyway let's continue with the rest of the video Yeah, so our first week here has been um let me say good 
has been good uh we are just taking our time adjusting to things around here and uh for the house because we are the first uh, occupants of this house of course there are some things that are not going like that well especially um like the door locks they're just breaking they, they look nice they just they just look nice but uh i've had several that broke for my daughter's bedroom but they changed that and um for my son's bedroom they've not changed for the kitchen they've not uh, changed it also broke um yeah yeah so in case there is uh the background noise also uh bear with me on that um because we are living in the town area and uh, living in the town area means that there are other businesses um going on so for the background noise to bear with me on that i'm actually standing right next to a car wash so yeah that's just it anyway back to the house there are some things that are not uh, working but the good thing is uh, the management is responding well they are fixing the things that are not working so for the locks uh, they only managed to repair my daughter's uh, uh, bedroom door uh, because that is the only piece that they had we are waiting for the rest to come I'm hoping that they'll come um, also the bedroom here in the master bedroom the draining uh, the drainage is not working yeah for the bathroom part the drainage uh, is not working uh, today actually the fundi was here and they've confirmed that they need to like chimba so they'll come do that tomorrow to fix and uh, just make sure that the water is flowing well um the other thing that was not working um what else yeah just a few other things um i'm also waiting for the living room uh curtain rod that one that will hold the shear that one we do not have um they should be bringing it they said they will do that um actually not the only person we are a couple of us so i'm sure they're going to do that i just don't know the timeline for that um before i forget let me just give you a story the first uh two three nights were okay and then uh, as i was cleaning the bedrooms i noticed uh, some mosquitoes let me tell you guys to mekuliwa tumekuliwa mosquito wa meshiba na relatives wao um so immediately i we bought a uh, mosquito nets for the kids bedroom i'm not a mosquito net uh, person like sipendangi your look but hey i just had to give in you know otherwise watoto wangekuliwa waisha so we bought uh, the nets for the hi baby Hi. Yeah, so my daughter is here. So, we bought the uh, the mosquito nets for their bedrooms. And then I remember when we were picking the nets uh in the in the supermarket, my husband was like, "Ah, sisi hata tuhitaji neti." Let me tell you, especially last night we've not slept. It reached to a point now we had to even keep the lights on. And actually hata hiyo they kept coming. The mosquitoes they kept coming. If you can I wish I could give you um you know a closer look to my hands I just have the bites all over yeah so today we can't sleep without a net so I'll have to go and grab that one as well anyways um I'll give you a tour of course of how I've uh, managed to put some things here and there throughout the house towards the end of this video so just make sure you stick around for that as well Yeah, so the main purpose of this video was to talk about how we've been uh, settling in here in the new house and uh, the main room that I really uh, put so much focus on in the first week was the kitchen. I really wanted to settle in the kitchen quickly. Uh, this way we'd have everything flowing, easy, functional, all that. Yeah, so the other rooms I worked on them bit by bit. I can't say that I worked on them like on a, like on a one day. It has been progress on a daily. Yeah, so far I've had uh, several chances to do 
uh, deep cleaning on the different rooms. Yeah, so but the remaining uh, places uh, that I need to deep clean is the common toilet and the bathroom in my bedroom. Uh, the bathroom I can't clean it right now because the fundies are still working on it. So I thought I'm not going to put much energy into cleaning it. So I'm not even using that. So we're using the common bathroom, the toilet. So the bathroom I already cleaned the walls, yeah, and everything. But the toilet I'm only I've only managed to clean the floor and the toilet bowl but the walls I'm yet to work on that I've also been making um, efforts to clean the windows And I've successfully uh, cleaned uh, the windows in my bedroom and now the living room. I'm yet to work in the other rooms. Yeah, so besides the house now, um, about the kids also, they've been uh, settling in very well. You know how kids, they just make new friends easily. Yeah, so they've made friends, they've been playing together, they're just having a good time here. Still on the kids, my god, I was not ready for these roads. I never saw it coming by the way. I mean, that same night that we moved in, they already made this, you know, like posters to just warn you and to tell you who is not allowed in their rooms and all that. I think they're just so excited to have their own rooms now. Anyways, let's now do the uh, house tour yeah so this is is the first bedroom um the one that is next to the kitchen and at the moment it's just serving as the storage so we have the kids bike and some other stuff here yeah so that is how the bedroom looks like i'm hoping in future it gets to become like um like a small office or something like that we'll see how it goes with time Yeah, so next is uh, this place, uh, the bathroom, the washroom, and the sink area. So I've, been, I've managed to clean the sink. It had some uh, paint stains. Uh, not all stains have, uh, I've not managed to remove all the stains, but I'm still working on it. 
it is looking much better than it was in the beginning that is the toilet i've not touched the toilet uh, the walls i'm yet to do that here is the bathroom the bathroom i've managed to scrub the walls and the floors and uh, at the moment we are sharing the toilet and the bathroom with the kids because ours is under some uh, repairs yeah so outside the washrooms there we have the shurak yeah next here is uh, my daughter's bedroom it's uh, quite a very big bedroom this is how we finally decided to set it up and uh, she's uh, been adapting uh, well here she's just enjoying her space yeah just simple nothing much to eat just the bed and the mat on the side yeah moving ahead we have the boys bedroom and uh, this is how we set it up also and uh, right now they're just having their playtime here Yeah, they are really, really enjoying their own spaces. And just as is with my daughter's bedroom, also this bedroom is just simply a bed and a mat on it. Yeah, back to the living room. This is how we've like a temporarily set everything up we do not have the tv or the tv cabinet at the moment but uh soon they'll uh we are going to have them yeah it's a quite spacious uh room yeah like i've mentioned hopefully soon we're going to have our tv back and the tv cabinet as well yeah so outside the living room this is uh we have our plants here because i noticed at the backyard where the kitchen is uh the sunlight is too much there and uh, the plants were getting damaged so i moved some of them into the front side and uh, last uh, but not least my uh, bedroom yeah it's not that lovely at the moment because i have this pile of uh, clean clothes that i want to fold but yeah this is how it's uh, looking at the moment that is how the arrangement uh, is yeah so i also decided to put uh, some clothing lines uh, in the space in fact uh, most of the time i'm put, i'm hanging the clothes on this side and not uh, on the kitchen side yeah so that's just basically it yeah allow me to end this video here guys uh, for anything that i might have not touched on allow me to continue that in the videos to come i'm not going anywhere i'll keep sharing with you the progress uh, of our new home and uh, yeah until the next video i'm just tired until the next video i will see you guys thank you always for your times and see you